Every Monday at 4 o'clock, we take you inside the Fox 10 News Vault, an archive of stories from years past. With Mobile's first Mardi Gras parade of the season kicking off this weekend, we wanted to go back about four decades to show you the art of float building. James Gordon with the story. We take you into the mouth of mystic madness and into the art of float building. Meet Webb Odom and George Criminale seniors, the granddads of Mobile's Mardi Gras float builders. Between both men, there's at least a hundred years of float building experience. Criminale retired in 1979 after 41 years of Mardi Gras. Today, he paints signs and does less backbreaking work. They always told me mine was a theatrical type. Uh, was I, my floats and designs was on the lines of a th uh, like a theatrical stage, you see. And because I did worlds of uh, stage settings, all for Mardi Gras and, and other uh, organizations, you know, like fraternities and so forth like that yeah. over a period of years. And I've done all the stage settings for the uh, strikers. George Criminale's style of using chicken wire and paper mache is still copied and with good reason. It worked before, and it still works today. <laughs> Meantime, float builder too. Webb Odom <laughs> says most folks think he's retired. Not so. Even after 65 years of float building, he says he and his good friend George Cubidale are two of a kind. I mean, we can as long as I can walk and climb a ladder and get along with everybody, that's, uh, that's the main thing. I love the organizations. They're such wonderful people to, uh, to work with. Building bigger and better floats that can carry up to 27 people, like this year's Mystics of Time title dragon, is the creation of Herb Janke, a float builder who has buried the styles of Mobile and New Orleans float building. You know, I live in between New Orleans and Mobile, so uh, I'm kind of uh, betwixt and between. I love both areas. I've done work from Jacksonville to Galveston, but I've been in this business 30 years, and I was trained at what New Orleans did. And when I came over here, I learned a whole new thing that we could do. And so exactly as you're describing, we have married some of the best of what we feel we've done over the last 20 and 30 years over there into some of the best work that goes on in Mobile. We've brought in bright colors. We've brought in a lot of things that I've not seen in Mobile as much as New Orleans. But then I don't see the kind of colors that we do in New Orleans. It's another expense, but it's Mardi Gras, and that's what it's all about. 32-year-old Craig Stevens is touching up his creations. He's one of several new generation float builders. Stevens, who has a degree in art from the University of South Alabama, says he would like to see more professional artists in the float building business. The, uh, is there anything different that you do? I mean, special, something special, a different technique, anything special? Uh, we try to do everything different. Uh, we don't we don't build with chicken wire. Um, we don't build with insulation foam. Uh, we're trained professional artists. We try to come in here and do a professional job and and sculpt and paint. And uh, you know, I think that's different. Is uh. Is there a future in Mardi Gras? Do you think it's going to continue and uh, over years, or what do you think? It's been here a long time. I would think so. And Stevens is probably right. As long as the crowds are there, this, the biggest free show on earth, will continue. Float after float after float. In Mobile, James Gordon, Fox 10, Action News.